introduce you to Shanaz Ramsey, who is the author of Food Prints, an Epicurean Voyage Through Pakistan and an Overview of Pakistani Cuisine. Hello, Shanaz. How are you? I'm very <laughs> well, and I'm honored to be here with you today Thank to you. learn how to cook Pakistani <laughs> food. But before we talk about Pakistani food, I'd like to know a little bit about you. I believe you've been a journalist for over 20 years. That's right. I started uh, way back in 1994, if I'm not mistaken. And you've written for many, many journals. You've written for um, Dawn, you've written for the Emirates Today, you've written for various other things. And you've not written just about food. You've written about lots of different things. How did you get into, into cookery? <laughs> Actually, uh, among the lots of things that I used to write about used to be restaurant reviews. And uh, for some reason, uh, because uh, my husband and I are very fond of eating out, and we've uh, always gone to all the new restaurants, and I've always landed up reviewing them, I became sort of connected with food. And uh, because of that, um, OUP approached me to write a book for a children's series, which would be on Pakistani cuisine. Um, so they thought that since I uh, you know, do so many reviews on restaurants, I would be the best person to do something like that. And uh, that's how this book eventually materialized, because uh, that series which I was writing for was dropped. But uh, since I'd already started research, I, started, uh, I continued with my research and made it for a book which would be for adults rather than for children. And then OUP took up on it. <laughs> a little bit more about your journalism, because I believe that you were twice nominated by UNESCO for the Gender in Journalism Prize. That's a really high honor. Yes. And I want you to tell me a little bit about that. What year did that happen? And oh, It happened uh, quite a few years ago. I won't even be able to remember exactly which year. But uh, this was something that had been started uh, by UNESCO. I think they've discontinued it now. But they were doing it for, uh, 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 I think, the two awards that I got in two consecutive years were uh, the second and third awards that they had introduced. I think they did one more after that, and then uh, they haven't been doing it. Uh, but uh, uh, it was a big honor, because you get uh, entries, I believe, in hundreds. Uh, and uh, they come from not just the English press, but also from the vernacular. And then it's chosen from there. So to be a, a runner-up was, was a great honor. Well, I'm very honored to be with you today <laughs> you. and to Thank learn you. how to cook. Thank it you. took you a long time to actually write this book. I think about seven years, I believe. That's right. How come it took you so long? I mean, I'm not, <laughs> <laughs> not criticizing you. No, yet, no. It, it took me so long for a number of reasons. Uh, one of them being that um, it, it required a lot of research. Because actually, this is not a recipe book. Uh, I don't know how many of you have seen it. Mm, this is the book. It's actually a reference book. Uh, it's about uh, the communities that are settled in Pakistan and their cuisine. And it's about the, all the geographical and historical factors that have resulted in the development of this cuisine. So uh, recipes were uh, really an afterthought. And uh, I put them in uh, much later. But the research that went into this book it took a long, long time. And uh, aside from, the, from that, uh, because I'm also full-time employed uh, with the HUM Network, and uh, I am still freelancing as a journalist, so I juggled my life quite a bit. <laughs> so uh, that's why it took probably longer than it should have taken. You're full-time with a TV channel. You're also writing freelance. Who do you write for and what do you write about? Um, I still write for the Dawn Group, yeah. uh, I write for Newsline, and um, various other publications that approach me. Uh, the different uh, subjects, like for instance, if I write for um, ADA, which is an art and architecture magazine, it's more on art that I'm writing. If I'm writing for Newsline, it's uh, probably um, either a review or it's uh, um, uh, an interview or maybe an investigative story. Uh, for Dawn, it's mostly interviews, uh, so it's, it's very varied. Shanaz, how do you have the time for all of this? <laughs> I learned very young in life that, you know, you have to make time. <laughs> One never has enough. Do you have children? Do you have a husband? <laughs> My husband is sitting right here in the audience. Hello. <laughs> And, and I have friends, and friends. No, that's have right, friends, <laughs> friends family, you <laughs> and two children, them. and two adorable grandchildren. Mashallah, how do you juggle all of these things? <laughs> it's, it's one of the questions that I'm asked most frequently. Uh, I think uh, I owe it to the JCs. I learned 
time management when I joined uh, JCs a long time ago. So I just, uh, I've learned how to juggle the time, I think. Well, yeah. you're a remarkable, <laughs> remarkable woman. And really, Thank I'm you. very, very excited to learn how to cook. Can you, can you cook high speed as well? We'll find out today. Uh, Is this the first time that you're cooking this yes. side of the camera? Uh, yes. <laughs> and I think I, uh, please bear with me because this is the first time that I'm doing something like this in front of so many people. I always cook at home when I'm entertaining. And uh, at that time, I'm in a quite a state. <laughs> so <laughs> to be doing this in front of everybody, it's, it's going to be a, a challenge. So it can't uh, possibly be a challenge, Shanas. <laughs> I've been on television <laughs> declaring that I can't cook. So I just need to learn. Teach me some things so that okay. I can go home and feed my children. All right, that sounds so. good. So basically, I thought I'd do two things today, um, shahi tukre and burani. So you can get a little bit of taste of the dessert and a little bit of uh, uh, something that's savory. I've. Um, Tell us also while you're while you're cooking or before yeah. you start cooking. Tell us a little bit about the since your since your book also talks about the the history and the culture. Tell us a little bit about the history and the culture okay. of both of these dishes. All right. In fact, um, I thought you might ask me that, so I thought I might even read it out from the book just to for you to have an idea. Um, okay. Now, the, the barani that I am doing is basically um, an Afghani dish. It started, um, it came from Afghanistan, uh, but uh, later there was a variation made to it because, as you know, Pakistan, uh, the, our cuisine has evolved a lot. It's not uh, a per, just Pakistani per se. We've got a lot of things from the Mughals. We've got a lot of things from, from way back from the Indus, Indus Valley. We've got our chapatis that we are eating, uh, were eaten even in the Indus Valley civilization. So things have come uh, from the ages, uh, uh, you know, from down from time. And basically, uh, it's evolved a lot. Uh, we've had different uh, uh, people who've contributed to it and given it a different uh, taste, uh, you know, from their culture, uh, whatever things that they could bring to it, they've added what they wanted to detract from it, they've taken out, and that's how our cuisine has really evolved. So, uh, Banjan Burani is what I've got in my book, which is an Afghan origin dish that has been adopted by the, uh, adapted by the Baloch. A vegetarian dish, it is made from fried slices of eggplant. The original Burani made by Afghans incorporated kharuth, which the Baloch uh, versions use, while the Baloch version uses yogurt. So the one I'm doing is with yogurt, um, but the original one that came from Afghanistan used to have karut, which is like cottage cheese. So that's one of the things that I'm making. And the other, as I said, is the shahi tukre, which is, of course, a Mughal um, um, treat that has come down to us uh, from the Mughals. And I hope I can find the page where I had marked it out. Mm -hmm. Did you see? Here it is. It's a legacy of the Mughals. This delicious bright yellow colored dessert, which literally means royal pieces, is made with fried bread slices cooked in milk with sugar and saffron and garnished with slivers of almonds and pistachios. So it comes uh, from the Mughals and uh, as you know, they were very, very shocking. Khane peene ke mamle mein aur bahut rich hota tha food. So um, these are the two things that I thought we'd do today. Uh, they're both very quick and both very easy to make. Um, hopefully, they will not take so long today either, although there is a lot of uh, wind over here. But uh, I hope that we can uh, overcome that. Aap ye chala denge mujhe, please? Let me know how I can help. Okay. And I'm really glad that I didn't have any lunch. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'll make both the things simultaneously so, uh, so as to save time so that there's a uh, little time after that for maybe question and answers. Iska bhi chala de, or iska bhi chala de. All right. Um, uh, will you be able to open uh, my uh, book to the recipes? I think I've marked them out as well. Absolutely. मैंने सोचा ये है कि जो मैं पकाऊंगी वो exact उसी quantities में और ratio में पकाऊंगी जो मेरी किताब में है ताकि आप लोगों को पता चले कि recipes correct हैं और 
जब क्योंकि लोग ज़्यादा होंगे और वो एक सिंगल वो बेसिकली जो क्वांटिटी है उसमें शायद पाँच छः लोग खा सकें और इवन इफ दे आर जस्ट टेस्टिंग इट तो मैं थोड़ा सा घर से भी बना के लेकर आई हूँ सो दैट एवरीबडी कैन गेट अ टेस्ट ऑफ इट एंड आई थिंक दे विल प्रॉबली डिश इट आउट एंड इन इन इंडिविजुअल सर्विंग्स और आप लोगों को सर्व कर देंगे बेसिकली सॉरी इसमें आप तेल डाल दीजिए तो मैं इसको फ्राई करूंगी रोटियों को ओके आई यूज वन एंड हाफ लीटर्स ऑफ मिल्क स्कैल्डिंग हॉट ओके so this is one and a half liters and uh, we'll while this is cooking we'll uh, let it cook for a while uh, i will fry the slices of bread I had opened up the wrong recipe. Okay, so you've got the burani, and uh, for here it is. Okay, so for the shahi to cray, the rest. Uh, if you all, are, I can see some people are writing it down. So for the benefit of those who are writing it down, let me read out the ingredients to you. There are six slices of bread. There's one and a half kgs or liter milk. Uh, there's one and three fourth teacups of sugar. There's uh, cardamoms, uh, three to four. then almonds handful and a uh, handful of pistachios right i like the way that you've given the you know the quantities because it sometimes it's very difficult to deal with the quantities are given in weight that's right and we don't all have those weighing machines or it's a hassle to take them out but that's a handful right. of this and a handful of that is <laughs> that's makes right makes it easier much makes easier. it easier that's true so um i hope that with this uh, wind uh, factor we can still manage you keep the you keep the uh, or with all neck the edges on you don't cut um, the crust off uh, okay that's a good question nahi mujhe bada wala fry karne ke liye spoon hai isme mujhe tongs tongs layo yes yes fry kar de chimta nahi layo um yes sorry Uh, you can use any milk you can use ha wash ha wash kar de you can use uh, this is a uh, this is a friend of mine who's asking uh, asking a very smart question because uh, uh, we try to go to a few of uh, these uh, cooking uh, programs um, where people ask uh, you know these silly silly questions and we are always smirking so <laughs> she's trying to be very funny right now but <laughs> Assalamualaikum. <laughs> It's true. I think some but, people. No, but some people do do need to know. So okay, <laughs> the uh, you can use powder milk. You can use uh, fresh milk. You can use uh, Tetra Pak milk. Any milk works. And sorry, I have powder milk used. Kiya. Ha, exactly. Coke powder milk. I have taken for convenience. Ke liye. <laughs> और दूसरी चीज बहुत एक इन्होंने इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन पूछा कि साइड्स आप काटती नहीं हैं आई डोंट कट द साइड्स ये जल रहे हैं इसको जरा वो कर दें वो न्यू पेपर रोल पेपर रोल निकाल दिस में निकाल लो शुरू वी डिस्पोज ऑफ दिस वन इफ दिस वन गॉट बर्न वी विल गेट रिड ऑफ द बर्नड वन इट्स ओके Would you do it on a low fire? Yes, you, you see over here there there is a lot of wind, and so they've ha had to keep the flame very high. Otherwise, normally you don't put uh, uh, when you cook you don't cook on such high flame. Flame, flame, flame. Flame, flame, flame. 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 Flame, flame
I like to keep it with the crust on because I like uh, eating those sides. But uh, but when they, uh, a lot of people can cut it as well, so it's fine. If you if you cut the sides, uh, there's no problem. And if you want to leave it with the sides, um, when you I've I've also made it at home and I brought it. So आप लोग जब खाएंगे तो आप लोगों को वो साइड्स भी नजर आएंगे मुझे वो थोड़ा सा जो सक साइड होता है वो मुझे अच्छा लगता है तो पर्सनली उसलिए मैंने साइड्स रहने दिए हैं और भी डबल रोटी है उसको भी फ्राई करना है जी दैट्स ओके और मुझे ये चम्मच दे दें ओके नाउ आई थिंक द मिल्क हैज हीटेड अप क्वाइट अ बेट सो वी कैन एड द शुगर The recipe says one and three fourth cups sugar. I I'm just using an ordinary teacup. Who taught you how to cook shanas? Um, a lot of it I just learned from uh, my mother and uh, from our cook, which wo, who had been there since the time I was five. Um, Uh, five or six months old. He'd been with us from that time, so uh, he was an expert cook, and he had all my mother's recipes. So a lot of the stuff I've learned from him. But uh, I also, uh, uh, you know, go through a lot of recipe books. Um, I work for Hum Network, so I have a lot of masala recipes as well, uh, <laughs> and um, lo a lot of uh, different, different uh, recipes from different, different people. I think. You, I've noticed that in your book you also have Burmese dishes. You also have Chinese dishes. You haven't just limited yourself to Pakistan. Actually, cuisine. the reason why I have uh, added those potatoes or dal is because uh, Pakistan's uh, cuisine is so varied, and we have actually adopted so many different cultures and so many different cuisines into our uh, own cuisine. That, I, for instance, Chinese. You will find uh, um, chicken corn soup uh, even available on the thelas. Uh, I mean, they say we have looked at hogs be vagaera gaye. So, raaste mein wo thelon pe mil rahe hote hain chicken corn soup. So, itna wo hamare uska hissa ban chuka hai cuisine ka. It's almost ke, indigenous. Uh, that's right. That uh, ke har koi khara hai. So, Chinese or Chinese food, jis tarah Pakistan mein banta hai, wo shayad hi kahi banta ho. You know, I mean, it's it doesn't really taste like authentic Chinese food. So, or usi tarah khawse vagara jo ham log khate hain, wo Burmese hai to Burmese, but it's actually uh, our taste is so different that uh, uh, we've added our own ingredients to it and given it a different flavor and touch. That's why I've added those. Pura se score lal kar dijega. Okay, I've added the sugar in this and. Uh, What I'm going to do is start adding uh, the bread once that lot is also done. I've And noticed I will you're not putting any saffron in this. Yes, I, I haven't put saffron in this this time, but it's up to uh, it is it is in the uh, original Mughlai recipe. And it's uh, purely up to you. One can put it in. Uh, it, of course, it will enhance the flavor. Um, you can put in as much as you want. I've got handful written in it. And I, I normally use some to garnish it uh, on the top as well. After I've taken it out in the dish, with the almonds, you've peeled them. And yes, they've do been. Do you soak uh, them? Uh, they've been boiled. Uh, they've been uh, peeled. Uh, oh, I see. You and then they've been first. slivered. Yes. I see. All right. Okay. And once you boil them, you will uh, be able to take out the skin easily, and then you can just. Uh, and the same with the pistas. They're the also boiled. The same with the pistas. That's right. Okay. I think now I can start adding um, the bread. थोड़ा सा अगर नाइफ है तो यहाँ इसको तो इसको थोड़ा सा स्क्रैप कर देते हैं. आप कैमरा को थोड़ा सा अगर आप साइड पे कर दें तो उनको भी नज़र आ जाए ओके आई एम बेसिकली एडिंग द स्लाइसेस ऑफ ब्रेड दीज आर एक्चुअली वेरी वेरी फूल प्रूफ रेसिपीज यू देर 
the shahi tukras that I make are, are slightly extra sweet because that's how shahi tukras should be. But if there are, uh, if there's anyone who prefers not to have it so sweet, then you can reduce the quantity of sugar. But I always stick to this quantity, and it's always been a major hit. So my recommendation would be to stick to this. <laughs> Unfortunately, mm -hmm. I can leave it out also. Actually, us, I think that's because of the wind over here. The wind yeah. pack. Uh, mm -hmm. I I think I'm going to leave out that burnt one because it will spoil the taste of the thing. And I think even five slices will do. But uh, normally, when you make it in a dish like this, this is the dish that I'm going to be putting it in. So um, and I have brought some uh, which are in slightly bigger dishes than this as well. Six slices should do well uh, in a dish like this and, and slightly bigger. Shanaz, should we put this, pan, um, this fry pan off now? Yes, that I'm done with that. When you feel that they start breaking, you can take them out. And I will also sprinkle a few cardamoms. These are crushed cardamoms. Uh, the recipe says four or five, and that's exactly how many I've just brought it from the house, crushed, to save time. Aapne wo dusra dholiya tha chamach nikalne ke liye, that will be better than this one. Flat wala jo hai, ji. How can I? Yeah, I just take these out. Yeah, there you go. I think that um, people's vision is being blocked. You can well, the aroma from here is absolutely fantastic. It's really, really smelling delicious. Yeah, I hope it tastes just as good. I'm sure it will. And you know, you can actually, it tastes uh, good, even if it's um, eaten uh, fresh out of the stove. It tastes good if you've uh, kept it in the refrigerator, and it tastes good even at room temperature. So it's entirely up to you how you want to eat it, whether you want to eat it cold or whether you want to eat it warm. The ones that I've brought for you um, are uh, from the refrigerator. By the time you all get to eat it, it will be hopefully room temperature. But um, if, even if it's cold, you'll get an idea how it will taste. This is a very popular dish. I think it's. It's something that we've all grown up on. Yeah. Thing that you know, you can also learn a, a simplified version, That's and right. you've given us a simplified version yes. of, it's of actually the Actually, very, Shadi very Kukra. simple to make. In fact, I met a gentleman over lunch today. I don't know if he's still sitting here. He was uh, supposed to be uh, here um, watching this uh, recipe. I think I'm going to put in portion that's not burnt in it. Um, and he was saying that um, he, he loves, uh, uh, he goes through cooking recipe books and things. He's pretty much into cooking. Uh, his daughter owns a restaurant in Lahore. And uh, he was saying that the problem he has with the recipes is that they always incorporate so many ingredients that it becomes very difficult to make everything. That I think that some some chefs like to complicate their recipes. Complicate, they like yeah. to make it difficult. They yeah. like to make it beyond <laughs> beyond imagination. It's right. They like to make it something that is a, a task. That's right. Okay, if we remove it and take the curry here, then we will start the burani because this is more or less done. Is the burani going to be in here? Yeah. Should so if you can just bring it over here, it will be easier to handle. Or taste. A little bit so that uh, and I will add a little bit of the milk. I am going to make a little bit of the milk. I am going to make a little bit of the milk. I am going to make a little bit of the milk. I am going to make a little uh, Shanaz, why have you never thought of doing television before? I'm, as you um, have noticed, I'm already into so many things that uh, 
I don't know. I would. Um, I Can don't know. I think I might enjoy it. I'm not sure, but uh, there's definitely TV. you need to have a lot of time to do that. But Pukri on TV has the widest outreach. That's true. That's true. My president, I think, is sitting right here. At least she was sitting right here. <laughs> we'll need to ask her about that. Mujhe zara bagan pass kar de or chopping board or knife. Dijega. Thank you. I'll read out the ingredients if anybody wants to write the ingredients down. It's one large eggplant. Okay, it says one large. The ones I have brought are this size because in this recipe book, basically, I, uh, this book I know will be uh, used a lot abroad and uh, it, it is very popular abroad and people are using it as gifts to take whenever they go um, um, to the West, especially. So there everything is super size. So that's why I've written one large and one large, oh, there is really one large, but I'm using these miniature sizes that you get over here. So I'm using two. Two large onions, two large tomatoes, a quarter kilogram of yogurt, five to six garlic cloves, an eighth of a cup of oil, I suppose that would be how much an eighth of a cup would be? Uh, well, very uh, little because this uh, two you know, the masala shouldn't have too much of oil in it. So two tablespoons? So, yeah, literally about uh, a uh, less than a quarter of a cup. And half a teaspoon of crushed garlic and salt and pepper to taste. Okay, so there's yeah. no lal mirich in this? Nothing, uh, just black pepper and uh, salt. Garlic. There's sliced garlic and crushed garlic. Yeah, the sliced garlic uh, basically goes uh, into the, uh, when I'm making the masala, okay. I'll put the sliced garlic with it and then it, they'll all get blended. Okay. And the crushed garlic will go in the yogurt. Okay. Um, it's going to look like these dishes that are in front of you. This is what the burani is going to look like. We put some oil in okay, this. Okay, now we can put the oil and fry uh, it. Uh, while we are going to be frying this, I will get the masala ready. I will blender and tomato and de barista. Does the. Yes, I will add it because we will deep fry it. So, we will add it. Hmm? Uh, about carlin, about gada ho jayega, to phir dal di jayega. Bas, bas, bahut hai. Would you peel the tomatoes before putting uh, no, them in? No, no, I'm going to put it in with it. Okay. Um, ek aur chopping board hai. This one is being used. Much tomatoes that I'm using. ये मेरे ख्याल से थोड़ा सा इसको देख लीजिएगा लग ना जाए जब काढ़ा कर जाएगा तो फिर इसको These are going to be blended so and the skin isn't going to be a problem in the blender No no it won't So you can cut it any which way you like because basically it's going to be blended Will the garlic cloves also go in there? That's that? right. The oh. garlic cloves will also go in there. Oil has become hot enough, well, then we can start frying it. Okay. Wo fry karne wala chamach agar ye wala jo hai na, isko zara saaf karke inko de de please.
Okay, so I've put both the tomatoes that I've cut up into the blender. And along with it, I'm going to put in, uh, the recipe says five or six cloves. So three, four, five. I'm putting in five because they're nice, thick, big cloves. Um, normally, people mi uh, might wonder why I'm bothering to cut it because I'm going to be putting it in the blender. But I find that uh, uh, unless you chop them, they don't tend to get blended. They because they remain uh, whole. So they're a bit tricky, these cloves. I've uh, cut these quite thick. They're not, uh, they're not very thin. And uh, I'm going to, fr we are frying them golden brown, um, light color. And once they're uh, fried. Should I put them all in together or should I just yeah. put in a one um, layer? I think this is fine. Uh, okay. You can do it this, this way. So I put them just one layer deep at the moment. Yeah. And then I'll turn them when they're, when they're a little golden. Right. Okay. There are different varieties of Burani as well. In this, you've done that's it with the with the tomato. Right. There that's are others which have the aubergine, um, the aubergine which is which stays. Um, that's whole. right. Um, there there are lots of versions of uh, Burani, and uh, this is the one that uh, I I find very delicious. It's called Nikale. Um, this is barista. It says two large onions. Um, I didn't want to stand over here and fry them and make them <laughs> into uh, uh, lal, but basically this is ready-made barista that I've just got. And um, I'm putting in about uh, three spoons. Normally works out to about uh, two large um, onions. And barista is available? It's available freely every day. Um, and that's just fried onions. Yes, that's right. So, um, mm -hmm. you blend it. Uh, please don't put water or anything in it. This is it. Just uh, the barista and the tomatoes and the cloves. That's it. Is that okay? Yeah, that looks fine. I think uh, we can start taking them out. Yeah, because I think it's के साथ भी फिर वही ना हो जाए जो शाही टुकड़ों के रोटी के साथ हो रहा था। I think we can start taking it out. We can do the next lot. So when I put it in into the blender, I always put the tomatoes first, and I put the barista on top at the end, of, uh, and the cloves in the center, because uh, the barista tends to get stuck to the, um, uh, the you know blades at the bottom. So you put the tomato first; it's easier to blend it. And you'll have to keep, uh, you know, uh, opening up the blender every now and then and uh, sort of tossing the things. Because since we're not adding any water, it uh, takes a little longer to blend than it would normally. But it becomes a nice thick paste. This is again a very, very foolproof recipe. Um, if you follow it exactly, it always turns out very, very good. And it's always one of those things that I always make as a side item uh, whenever I entertain. And uh, it's always very popular. Palau's to go with this, or bir biryani's to go with this.
Well, basically, I make a lot of different things e each time. So I it's not necessarily that it would be eaten with a pilau uh, or a biryani. Um, I may even have a, a completely um, different thing because, you know, when I'm entertaining, it's close to the bun. Or just one second. Um, what I'll do is it's a tail and I mentioned it's a side dish so um, it's uh, it's really eaten on its own with a spoon um, you can uh, uh, serve uh, you know regular biryani or palau or for that matter have a Chinese menu and have this on the side because this is really not mixed in with the with the rice we just eat it on its own and it tastes very very good. <laughs> So now what I'm going to do is, once he's removed most of the oil from there, I will give a oil dungi. As I said, uh, uh, one eighth, huh, that should be fine. And when this masala blends, we will add the masala in the oil. In this way, I will add the masala in the oil. Not pakoras. No, not pakoras. Not pakoras. No, not pakoras. <laughs> so this is how the shahi tukras are looking. This, this is basically done. And we have a lot more over there. Uh, so I think there should be plenty to go around. And uh, once uh, this is done, then we can... The tail is more warm, so let's put it in a little bit until it blends. And it looks like the tomato paste is getting ready. It is so. getting ready, yes. Does anybody have any queries? Ji. In ke liye a mic or a hand mic hai? Why do you not add water? That's the way the recipe is, and um, I. It 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 tastes, I think, better uh, because you just have the taste of the actual ingredients without anything else, and you don't need, want it to get watery Hello? because. When we serve it, we serve it like this. Okay. So, you know, it it's, sits in the center of the yogurt. Yeah. So, basically, uh, I, it's nice if it's done like that. Um, yeah. Is it blend? Okay, let's give it to you. And until you give it to me, let me give it to me. Add water because it, um, it would get yeah. diluted. The flavor would get diluted. Yeah. But basically, I think the lesson that we learned today was that the tomatoes needed to go into the blender first. If the tomatoes had gone in first, <laughs> then it would, have, it would have worked. But because we were demonstrating, I think... No, no, the tomatoes uh, go in first, and that's yes. how I put it in. I yes. put in the tomato first, Yes, I think and it will take first. time. But yes. if you put in the onions first, then yes. you would have had a, a greater problem on your hands. Uh, yes. It would have taken longer. Yes. So I, I'm putting in the masala into this. And I'm going to fry it until the oil separates and until you know you, it gets the right texture, the right color, when you know that it's uh, properly bunod. I know most of you are I don't probably know if you into can cooking. I smell this back there, but it smells absolutely delicious. So much wind over here, I doubt if they can get any smell. But no other masalas go into this, nothing like zero. Actually, no, no other masala goes into it. That's it's very, very, very simple. Very and we simple. have uh, just uh, uh, salt and pepper will go in it. It's a very simple recipe. I thought that it right. would have things like kalonji and zero. No, and nothing, nothing. It's a very, and, very uh, yeah. easy recipe. Very easy recipe. In fact, both these recipes were uh, very simple to make. And very few ingredients uh, go into them. And uh, in, you know, maybe because there are such few ingredients, you can really get the taste of everything, and it it, it tastes pretty good. And also, I think there's another kind of um, belief that every Pakistani dish has lal mirich in it. That's right. <laughs> lal mirich, haldi, zira. That these are staple ingredients that it that is in everything. Yeah. Um, what do you have to say about that? You know, something very interesting. Uh, this is, uh, again, something that I also discovered. Lal Mirich was not part of our cuisine till after the Mughals. Even the Mughals didn't use Lal Mirich in their cuisine. 
So Lal Mirich has really, uh, again, one of the things that ha have evolved uh, over time uh, and become part of our cuisine. Uh, this just uses black pepper, it uses uh, salt, and that's it. Um, but now, because uh, our taste buds have changed over the years and we've, it's developed so much that we can't think of food without Lal Mirich. Pishaw. Fourth is very bland, especially compared to the food that's uh, eaten in our part, uh, in Sindh and in Punjab. Isko mere khaat se thoda sa aur agar halka ho sakta hai to kar dein. Okay, now this, um, you all can't see it because you all are sitting quite far from me, but it's got this nice rich color um, and uh, the oil is separating. So I am now adding the eggplant into it. So you'll put all of the eggplant I'll put in all together. the eggplant. And then I will mash it up with the spoon. Okay. So. And this is from the north of Pakistan originally. From Afghanistan. From yes. Afghanistan. Yes. Yes. So yes. And then ad adapted by the Balochis. And uh, um, as you mentioned, there are lots of versions of it. The Balochis call it Burani Banjan, uh, uh, Banjan Burani. But uh, there are lots of versions of this as well. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of salt and pepper on it. And that will be crushed black pepper? Yeah, it's just regular black pepper uh, that you have in your eggs. OK. And regular salt. Uh, so while this is, uh, normally I would have left it on dam for a few minutes, a uh, couple of minutes. But even when you leave it on dam for a couple of minutes, you have to keep stirring it because it tends to stick because as, uh, there is no uh, liquid element in, in this. So you have to be very careful. So even if you leave it on dam, just um, keep stirring it. And then uh, after a couple of minutes, you can just remove it. The yogurt, uh, you're going to okay, be adding the, yeah, now in, I That's right. Now, the, in this yogurt, I'm going to add a little bit of salt. And uh, I'm going to crush a little bit of garlic. Um, I have this fancy crusher. Yes. What do I mean by dumb? Very interesting question from this gentleman. Uh, dumb is when you put the food um, uh, to simmer on very, very low heat with the lid on. And uh, it's but, a. But if the lid is on, how do you keep stirring? Yes, you keep lifting the lid <laughs> and stir it. So uh, that has to be done. OK, if you don't have this fancy crusher, which I've managed to get hold of, which makes life a lot easier. You can uh, crush it um, by hand also, or in a hamam dasta, which is normally in most uh, households. So, uh, and uh, some when you use a crushed garlic, it ta the, you know the taste of it is a lot better than having a blended uh, uh, lasan put in. And I believe that it's also healthier to use the crushed garlic than to use the the one that we normally use in cooking. Is this ready yet, Shanaz? Yeah, this is done. Thank would, would, you. This is this done, so we can. No, this is basically done. So we can put off the fire. Uh, I think ek kafi yes. So what we will do is, this um, is uh, dish wo piche padi hai. Well, it looks absolutely delicious, and I can't wait to. See. And I'm so proud of myself. We've done it at 4 before 30. So we have enough time for a session. I was, uh, since I was doing this for the first time, I wasn't sure whether I'd go over time or what would happen. But I've had nice help uh, all around. OK, the yogurt, you can put in as much as you want. It's, you know, you, it says quarter kg. I can, uh, sometimes depending on the, you know, the size of the dish and how deep it is, you can put in more as well. 
Shanaz, can you put this um, tomato paste in at the same, uh, when it's hot, or do you have to wait? Yes, to I normally, what I do is I prepare it in advance, and then when I'm going to serve uh, the, the burani, I uh, heat it up a little bit. So, uh, and the yogurt I normally uh, make from before, I, I whip it, I put the salt and the garlic, and I put it in the fridge. So then when I'm ready to serve, I the yogurt is cold, and the burani, the, the eggplant part of it is hot. And you put it inside in the center, the way that's been done over there. Oh, that's wonderful. So you've got actually a combination of two different temperatures. That's well. right, that's right. Okay, I'll just add the in here. I think that's ready. It looks good. So, I'm going to put it in the beach. इसी तरह जैसे वो दूसरों को किया है Can you all see it? Do you want to um, just get a glimpse of this? Uh, maybe I can lift a little bit of it and show it to you. Um, this is how it looks. Okay. And what's lovely is that I've had burani at lots of different places, but usually people aren't so generous with the with the tomato paste, mm -hmm. with the tomato and aubergine. They're quite stingy, but <laughs> Shanaz has been very, very generous with that. And that's really fantastic because that's the most delicious part of it, is the, is the tomato and aubergine. That's right. So this is basically done. And um, I think what they're going to do is maybe pass it around. If there are plates, then uh, pass it with plates a teaspoon. Ke pass kar de. Or uh, all the um, uh, if you could just take it around, so everybody can get a taste of it. Thank you, Shahnaz, for most sharing your culinary expertise with us. It's most been welcome. a real joy. Thank you. I'm uh, very, very happy. And uh, uh, I know that uh, she's flown in specially from Islamabad <laughs> to moderate. So I'm no, it's, uh, it's it's very, very thrilled. It's so much fun to be here. <laughs> thank, thank you. Me. Thank you. So if there's anything you'd like to ask, uh, Jay. Cookery classes. Yeah, cookery yes, classes. I think there's a lot of people here who want cookery classes, <laughs> Maishanas. But I think now there are so many cooking uh, channels taking and so many uh, classes basically uh, in your own homes just on the chat through the TV that I don't know if people would bother to go to cookery classes. <laughs> you would? <laughs> okay. Any questions? G. G. A lot of people put them in the oven afterwards. Is that mm. something that you do? Ha, I don't well? do it, no. And is there a difference in the taste or something? Uh, I know that it t this one tastes fantastic. When you get to taste it, um, then you all will have an idea. In fact, I'll tell them to serve this one first, which has just been made. So it's because it's fresh. The uh, other one I made in the night uh, so that I could bring it in today. So is there who pass on? Put spoons in it. Uh, I, so I like it this way, place? but you all can try, uh, definitely, um, there are lots of different ways of, in, where, of making everything. There's yeah, spoons yeah, and there's plates over here for anybody who would like to come uh, and have a taste. serving spoons for uh, this. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. 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 Zara, uh, in fact, it would be nice if you all would pass on to everyone, uh, yeah. serving spoons. Leke. Yeah, I thought that was the idea. Okay, this is... Pass on, plates or spoons, or pass on, so I think it will be more easy for everybody to handle. No, this is not this is not Please, 
please, can you please be a little bit um, um, respectful to the others? <laughs> We're all trying to share here. Everybody wants to have a try, so please. I don't think that the gentleman who got up, he <laughs> disappeared. Uh, Javed sahab, who are in shirt, they have this and they have spoons and they have spoons. I think that they have spoons serving because they are in the house. They have spoons serving. They have spoons Okay, this is Burani. 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 This is This is Burani. This is Burani. This is Burani. This is This is uh, please, once you've got the plates, if you could please um, step back so that other people can have a taste. <laughs> Did you get to taste both? Have it at Burani yet? Come on away. Give me your plate and I'll put it in. Try it. Aapko <laughs> it. Yeah. my mom's, which is from Afghanistan. I want to see. Oh, okay. <laughs> How different it is. Huh? Huh? Exactly. Bilkul. No matter what. Haan, bilkul. Or here? Yes. Aubergine slices. Tomatoes, then the aubergine. Plates or chaye, agar paper plates or hai. No, no, um, yogurt. No, rakhi me. There are plates, wahan se de dijay ga. Excuse me. There are plates first. Okay. Yes, I will keep them. Yes, I will keep them. What do they need? I didn't want to keep them. Okay, thank you. Did you keep them there or did you keep them there? Yes, I will keep them there. Did you keep them there? Yes, I will keep them there. Thank you, thank you. उसमें दो स्पून ये डाल दो कांटे डाल दो और फिर हमारे जो घर के सारी चीजें इकट्ठे कर लो क्योंकि फिर कल प्रॉब्लम होगी जाओ कल सब कल हाँ वही हो हाँ सॉरी डेमोस ओवर I was expecting this which is why I I wanted that वे भी बहुत देखे थे, थे और मैंने कभी बनाए नहीं हैं आज देख लिया कैसे बनते हैं इसको जरूर ट्राई करूंगी बहुत अच्छा लग रहे थे और जो बांजर बोलानी है वो भी इंजॉय किया क्योंकि हम लोग तरीके से बनाते हैं जरा सा मुख्तलिफ और ये एक दूसरा तरीका था बिल्कुल रायते की तरह था और टेस्ट में भी बहुत थैंक यू शहनाज